Okay, we're back, and we are going to make a box with a piece of 9 by 12 paper for our holiday paper pack challenge. I'm going to flip it over. Um, if you are concerned with the pattern at this point, I'm not, but if you are, um, let's see. This will be the top of your paper. This will be the bottom of your paper. So we are going to score... Let me find my measurements right here. The nine, we're going to score one and a quarter. And seven and three quarter. Ah, I don't know why my paper, my paper is a little bit, um, getting a little bit soft. There's some moisture out in my building and my paper is kind of softening up. But anyways, 12 inch side, we are going to score at one and a quarter. Five and a half. Six and three quarter. And lastly, I did not write that measurement down. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see here. So from one and a half to, or my one is four and a quarter. So we need to go four and a quarter. This is how life happens. Um, 11, you're going to 11. All right, so on the 12 inch side, one and a quarter, five and a half, six and three quarter and 11. All right. We're going to reinforce these score lines. Like I said in my other videos, um, what happens, what prompts me to make certain things is I will buy gifts and I will figure out, and this is really intriguing to me, I really enjoy this, I have to try to figure out the size of the paper and the score lines to make the project what I want it to turn out like, and sometimes it turns out and sometimes it doesn't. But this one actually turned out and um, it's pretty excited. We're going to cut in on all of these lines. Let's see here. We're not going to get rid of anything. And I will bring to your attention that this here is an inch and a quarter. This is an inch, okay? So your the side with the inch, this is the top, this is the lid. And the inch and a quarter, I mean, sorry, yeah, the inch and a quarter, that's the bottom of the box, okay? And it's only like that because um, I needed the box to be a certain size, and we only had 12 inches to work with. And I was so close, you know, to being exact. But, um, so when we fold over our lid, it's going to be just short of matching up with the edge of our box, but it still looks good. I made an example, I made kind of a trial piece to see, to make sure it was gonna work, and it did. So, this one works out. You're going to take adhesive and put them on all six of your little flaps. Okay, so this is your lid because it is the shorter of the two measurements. This is your box. So when you put this together, you're going to line up your score lines. Line up your score lines. Like that. So we're just going to give this kind of a push the other direction. Okay, so there's a box. Here's a lid that folds over. And I like that now. On this paper, you really can't tell because the pattern kind of continues, but if you can see that, you've got just a quarter of an inch where the lid is shorter than the box. And that's okay. It's no big deal. Really, um, no one's really going to notice it, and it actually might make it easier to open up. 
you're going to tie a ribbon around it, you're going to jazz it up anyway. So it works out really well. If I would have had an extra quarter of an inch, I would have made it match up, but um, I had to have the box this size, and with just working with 12 inch paper, this is what we got. Are you ready to see what's going inside? This was my example, and this is what fits inside. So you get five bottles that fit inside, and then you can close it up. And there you go. Isn't that nifty? No one is going to suspect that something like this is in a cute little homemade box like this. 